It's time to build a gaming system with this 8-core because it just beat all the intel in the test that we did here in the studio, so let's do this. There you go, there's your 8-core, the FX8350. We're going to put that into our system. Now the motherboard that we're going to use is the uh, Asus Sabertooth 990FX Revision 2. You can get similar, if you're not overclocking, you can get similar performance with like a, an $80 or $90 motherboard. If you are overclocking, I like this one, I like the DigiVRM, uh, and it just has a ton of features. So if you, you know, want to build something that's going to last a while and have tons of features, this is a really good way to go. Also the MSI 990FX that we had was really nice. The BIOS that we had felt a little nerfed, which kind of pissed me off. Um, so I, I'm not recommending that one at this moment. And we also bricked the BIOS. We were like trying to overclock it so much and then we were like, just get a beta BIOS or something. And now it's like, oh. For the memory, I'm gonna recommend some G-Skill Rip Jaws X-Series, uh, 16 gigabytes of that running at 2133. And that's like 99 bucks. If you're just gaming, you can get eight gigabytes. I don't care, but 16 will give you more room to do more things. And it's for a hundred bucks, whatever. For the uh, storage, what we're going to do is we're going to get a 2 terabyte Seagate because you can get those things for like 89 bucks right now. And we're also going to get an SSD. So put all your games on that one. And if you already have an S like a standard hard drive laying around, you can just use that for the build and not, you know, spend the 89 bucks on the 2 terabyte Seagate. And then uh, we're also going to get an SSD. Let's grab the Kingston HyperX 3K. We've got like 900 of those around here. We use it a lot. Um, and we're getting the 120 gigabyte flavor for Windows and whatever else you're going to install. If you see an A-Data SX900 on sale for around the same price, they're very good too. And also I like the OCZ Vertex 4. Just check out the prices. All three of those are very good. And I'm sure people will be able to recommend some. Those are the ones that I have personal experience with. So I'm comfortable recommending them. And they've all been great and haven't failed. Uh, but I have more experience with the Kingston HyperX 3K because we have like 900 of them and not one has failed so far. There's a sale right now. PNY GeForce GTX 670, it's on sale and you can get them for $299. Yeah, I quite enjoy the 670. If you're an AMD fan, check out the 7950s. Those are uh, pretty freaking fast. If you're using CUDA, um, and you want physics, and uh, maybe you're doing some rendering, the uh, GTX 670, this is an EVGA. If you see one of these on sale, buy it immediately, because uh, EVGAs are top notch. So, you know, it's all about getting a good price, but the PNY is very highly rated, and uh, good, good price on that one. For the case, we're going to go for the NZXT Tempest 410. It's an ATX Mid-Tower gaming case. Found one of those for 60 bucks, and there's a lot of airflow options. There's some plastic on this case. If you want something a little more sophisticated, spend 100 bucks and get like a Fractal Define R4. Uh, I think the Revision 2 is out. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's sleeker, less plasticky. But the, uh, the NZXT Tempest 410 really gets the job done, especially if it's a gaming rig. Power supply. Cooler Master GX 750 watt 80 plus certified power supply. Uh, it's got one 12 volt rail, like I like, and found one of those for $69.98, and uh, 98 cents, which is quite reasonable for a 750 watt power supply, and you'll be able to add more to the system because you'll have, you know, a couple hundred watts left over. Be nice. And for the cooler, let's just go crazy. If you're not going to buy the kit, because you can find these things with the kit with the water cooling system, it's, you know, AMD branded, it's got a copper plate. If you can find one of those for a good price, get the whole entire kit. It really is nice. But if you want to go a little bit crazier, you can always get the uh, Kraken X60. Now, those are those are out right now. I mean, they're 139 bucks. But if you're going to push this thing to 5, 5.2 gigahertz, well, by God, just do it. So that system will, um, will be quite fast. Uh, we haven't finished our productivity benchmarks, but you should check out our video. And if you're doing streaming, seriously, if you're doing streaming, just get it. You won't need a render card anymore. It's XSplit just loves having this extra power right here. Uh, we benchmarked it in Crisis, and it, it beat the Intels, even though the Intels won without XSplit. So when you're streaming, it's faster. I like that quite a bit. So I'm kind of, you know, shocked about this thing. Check out our video. It's linked on the screen. You should subscribe. I mean, what are you waiting for? Buttons over there. See you guys later.